Japanese self defense forces pilots will have the opportunity to train together with heavy multi role Su 30 aircraft and more precisely with their Indian variant of the Su 30 MKI. This will be possible thanks to the tightening of military cooperation with India, with which only the Japanese Navy, Army, and Transport Aviation have practiced so far. According to Japanese sources, Joint exercises with combat jets are a sign of high mutual trust between the two countries. The exercises are to be held at the Japanese military base later this year, although it is not yet known exactly where. The venture was planned for a long time and was initially planned to take place in June last year and flights will be carried out from the Japanese Komatsu base where the Japanese Floor 15J are stationed. Currently, it is not known what base and what planes will train with the Indians. It is known, however, that the exercises are to take place later this year and the Japanese expect a visit of 6 Su-30 MKI. It is no secret that the goal of the Japanese side is to learn about the Su-30 and its characteristics in flight, such as range, maneuverability, fuel consumption, but as Japanese sources say, also methods of keeping them in working order or for example, the time needed to prepare such a machine to fly and throw her into battle again. The Su-30 radar signatures at different angels of attack will also be examined and Japanese pilots are also supposed to be approved for flight at least as passengers of the two-seater Su-30 MKI. The willingness to get to know this plane is not surprising. The People's Republic of China has 97 such machines whose fighters regularly fly between the Japanese islands. In the event of an armed conflict, they would be the main opponent of Japanese planes, just like their Chinese versions of the J-16 or other Chinese Su-27 family planes like Su-27, Su-35, J-11, on board J-15, not to mention the machine's Russian. A better understanding of this design is therefore crucial for the Japanese and much more important than the air cooperation conducted since 2018 between Indian and Japanese transport aviation. Thank you everyone for watching this video.